What's up guys, it's uh, Jing. I just wanted to show you quickly the Amazon Echo and what I've been working on. Um, it's really cool. Uh, basically, Amazon Echo is a device that it's kind of like Google, it's kind of like Siri, where you can talk to it and it does things. Uh, Amazon has open sourced the programming so you can actually program it to talk to different parts of your home. What I've done is actually program the Echo to talk to my Sony Bravia and my TiVo box. The Bravia and TiVo have certain capabilities that you can, uh, it's gonna, it requires a lot of programming, but you can, you can control various, various aspects of the TV and TiVo box. But I just program simple things that I do every day so I don't even have to look for the remote. Things like that is what I wanted to do is wanted to control my voice and just um, not even have to look for the remote. So I'm just going to show you a couple of examples of what I've done and uh, what the capabilities of the Echo, just having it sit, you know, in your living room or different parts of your home so you can just, you know, control your home with just your voice. Alexa, tell my TV to turn on everything. I have switched the TV on. TiVo turned on. So as you can see, it turned on everything. It's on the PS4 right now. Actually, the PS4 is not turned on, so let me just boot up the PS4 and uh, yeah, show you it's uh, with the PS4. And there we go. So this is the PS4. Um, the TiVo was turned on, um, and so I'm going to change the input to actually the TiVo uh, HDMI 4. Alexa, tell my TV to change the input to HDMI 4. Input change to HDMI 4. So as you can see, the input has changed to HDMI 4. The, um, from here, I just did a few things. Uh, you can add more later, but I just mainly um, wanted to just control a few things on my TiVo box. Um, closed captioning was one of them. Alexa, tell my TV to turn closed captioning off. As you can see, it has been turned off. Uh, there's no more closed captioning on that screen. Um, also, I wanted to also just change channels really quickly. And I didn't want, I don't know the numbers, so I had to build a table with numbers corresponding to the actual name. Alexa, tell my TV to change the channel to ABC. It's already on ABC, so nothing really changed. Alexa, tell my TV to change the channel to ESPN. Channel has been changed to ESPN on 333. Alexa, tell my TV to change the channel to golf. Channel has been changed to golf on 418. Alexa, tell my TV to change the channel to ESPN2. Channel has been changed to ESPN2 on 334. Awesome. So, now from here, um, a couple other things I programmed was to play certain shows and movies that I have stored on my uh, media server. Uh, Alexa, tell my TV to play the newest episode of The Big Bang Theory. Now loading The Big Bang Theory titled The Spock Resonance. So as you can see, it's just playing the newest episode of The Big Bang Theory. Um, it can even search for shows that you don't even say the full name. It'll search for the closest match. Um, I'll give you, for example, Supergirl. I'm just going to say Super. But there probably isn't any other name, other show named Super or anything like close to that, that Supergirl probably is going to be one that's going to be picked. Alexa, tell my TV to play the newest episode of Super. Now loading Supergirl title, Hostile Takeover. So as you can see, it's playing that. Alexa? Tell my TV to play the movie Zorro. Play movie titled The Mask of Zorro. So as you can see, it's uh, playing the uh, movie The Mask of Zorro. So uh, you can basically, with the Echo, control many different aspects, not even have to remote. Uh, I did have to program a lot. I'm not going to release the code just because it really is such, it, it's beta and um, it's catered to my Bravia and the TiVo box, so it's not really going to be compatible with just random um, random components. Or if you have a Samsung TV or whatever, it's not going to work as effectively uh, unless 
um, Amazon, you know, someone builds it on Amazon. So right now it's just, uh, just really catered to my environment. But I just wanted to show you that, you know, the possibilities are there in the future that uh, we're going to have more voice. All right. Thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoy it.